Welcome to another episode of the Coffee Break Podcast, where our mission is to share business ideas, practices, and strategies while we enjoy a cup of coffee. And today, we're going to be talking a lot about strategy. Uh, this is part two of the conversation that we had with Jeffrey and Jen Gittimer. Uh, if you tuned in last week, it was part one, and I'm telling you, it's, uh, it's high energy the entire time. But we're really diving into some of the practical things that you can do to set yourself apart and become very humanized with your customer base, uh, utilizing uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the technology out there to be able to communicate to your customer base. They get really tactical with this, so make sure you uh, are ready to take notes and apply some of these principles that they're talking about. Jeffrey, as we talked about last time, is has been around the industry of sales training and selling for a long time. He's been writing articles and writing books uh, since the early 90s. So uh, he's got a lot of experience to share, and they were kind enough to come and sit down and have a conversation with us uh, over a a couple of cups of coffee. So uh, get ready for a wonderful conversation right here on the Coffee Break Podcast. We got so much to say. We got a podcast to make. We're sipping on lattes, and it's time for a coffee break. Time for a coffee break. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, you've obviously made a living, both of you, on training <clears throat> sales, tra- training how to sell, mm-hmm. right? So, um, what are you seeing? And we live in the small business world where, um, and we talk, we've had this conversation quite a bit about being a practitioner and then transitioning over to a business leader. And then part of that building an organization, you've got to have sales and uh, it all is you know, happens when you were the practitioner, you sold and supplied all, all in one fail, fail swoop. And now it's transitioned to do it, an organization. What are you seeing as you're dealing with people in your training, either some of the pushback or the hesitation of, of that whole, the whole sales cycle and sales process, because it's more than just a salesperson. It's an entire, you know, cycle and a process that your company is, is operating. So what are, what are the, the pushbacks or the concerns or questions that you guys are getting when you're dealing with small business? For me, it was small business, and I help a lot of female entrepreneurs that are doing small business, that have small businesses. Um, they don't, they know they need to be seen, mm-hmm. yet they're hiding behind their business. Mm-hmm. And this is not just a female thing, but I see this a lot with the people I'm working with that they're sort of like putting the business as the thing you should connect with. But people don't connect with a business. They'd rather email. Like, think about why if um, you think about any clothing brand, you connected with it because of the person who was wearing it. That's why they hire influencers to wear the Nike shoes or the Adidas shoes or whatever it may be, mm-hmm. right? Because you have that connection now. And so podcasting is definitely one way to make yourself connectable, so to speak, or put yourself out there. But there's so many ways. There's Facebook Live. There's YouTube Live. There's ways for people to actually feel your personality through a computer screen Mm -hmm. that costs you nothing. It's like your own news station or your own TV station. And you can humanize your brand. Like I, we use a platform called Kajabi for our, um, it's like for our academy stuff, our education stuff. Okay. And it's a software as a service. Mm-hmm. Most people don't feel connected to their software. Sure. I know Ali Kajabi, by the way, her last name's not Kajabi, but that's what she is on, on social media. Gotcha. Like I know Ali Kajabi. I know all the tech guys because they all come on every week and they, they talk about, about right. the stuff that they're, they're doing. And all of a sudden, like I feel connected. We're never leaving Kajabi. Yeah. Literally never because we have this emotional connection to them. Like I met Ali Kajabi in person mm-hmm. at a um, a happy hour they were hosting. And I'm like, you're Ali Kajabi. And she's like <laughs> laughing. But like she doesn't even realize how much connection she's made for that brand. Yeah. And if you're an entrepreneur, you have to do the same thing. It doesn't matter what you're selling. People need to get to know you and feel like they can trust you before they're going to even consider buying from you. Very and especially solid. in today's world where it's easy to find anything and anyone and you have to make a discerning decision yeah. as to which one would suit me best. Not necessarily which one's cheapest because there are people that that's all they do is they shop for price. Yeah. But the discerning person wants to know the difference between a Porsche and a Mercedes. Yeah. 
which which one of these which should or should I get a Tesla? Um, and there's lots of choices now, way way more choices than there ever were. Mm-hmm. Uh, just think about your own television set. If you're old like me, there were three channels, then there were four channels, then they had UHF, Ooh. <laughs> and and now but now there's like 500 channels, mm-hmm. and you get anything you want, yeah. day or night. And then the Disney Channel comes on. I'm like, ooh, ooh, it's just overload. Yeah. So between Disney and Netflix, you could spend your whole life with a bag of potato chips and a, and a soda, and you'd be fine. Yeah. And you could spend an entire afternoon and actually not ever watch anything. You're just looking for something. Yeah, right. That's, that's, true. That's, that's, that's true. That's true. Okay. That's true. But with your product or your service, like you mm-hmm. look at what we have to do now in our marketplace that we didn't have to do before. We have to stay relevant, and we have to stay what I would call top of mind. Yeah. So by tweeting every day or by posting every day or by having a, a, a weekly podcast or a, or a bi-weekly podcast, we stay top of mind. That's the whole deal. Mm-hmm. And if you don't broadcast yourself, if you don't put yourself out there, you're doing it. Your lock doc is the best known locksmith in Charlotte. How that happened? On accident? Yeah. It Was it an accident? Mostly. No, <laughs> <laughs> no but you, you understand what I mean? It, sure. It's... You're, you're methodical about it. We're not an accident. We've planned it. Yeah. And I think that the most important thing in understanding that is you're not an anomaly. Anyone can go out, then do what I do, do what you do, and by become known by just going out and broadcasting. But they have no balls. Yeah. And they don't have, they don't have any confidence in themselves that they could actually make it happen. Yeah. It's, it's one of the things that you, obviously I'm sure you've heard of Gary V uh, and he talks about all the time. No, He's wait, like, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to give you the entire playbook, but 99% of you aren't even going to do it. Right. Like, I'm going right. to tell you everything you have to do, but you just, if it was easy, then everybody would be doing it. Right. But right. It's the, it's the time. And, and, and I mean, you look at anybody's career over time and that's one of the things I was noting on, on even your timeline is you've got eight years before really there's, there's relevance or, right. or, or anything. Right. And right. people aren't willing to pay the price. Yeah. They're not willing to pay the price that it takes to join the ranks of the very successful. Yeah. Because anybody only sees the last little portion yeah. of, of somebody. It's easy for him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, you got, I've written 16 books. Yeah. Well, it's easy for you to say. No, it started out with an article in the paper. Sure. Right. And, you know, if you're willing to invest 25 years of your time into it, all of a sudden, Boom, you're an overnight success. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's true. It's true. Just a reminder, you're listening to the Coffee Break Podcast. Also, we wanted to let you know that our team puts together a weekly blog post. You can find it at locdoc.net slash blog. It's guaranteed to raise your IQ by 12 points or your money back. So it's pretty much a win-win. All right, back to the conversation. People don't understand that. They no. just, they don't. And they're not willing to work. Yeah. So they, 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 You know what they want to know? What's the shortcut? Or uh, the hack. Yeah. I can't stand hacks. Or how much vacation time do I have? Uh, do I have paternity leave or is it just maternity leave? Give me a break. So it's, like, it's, it's understanding. So the, the thing that you're seeing, I guess, is the fact that people may not be willing to put in the hard work to get mm-hmm. to what they were wanting right. to accomplish. They yeah. Most, to the I, here's my quote. Most people are not willing to do the hard work that it takes to make success easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what, in, in that sense, what are you coaching or encouraging people to do? Like just put in the work? I mean, what's, yeah. what's the. It right. depends on the person. It depends on the business. It depends on where they're at, mm-hmm. uh, you know. And there's, there are fallacies. Like you take the book, The Secret, which is a pretty big book. Mm-hmm. Burn it. Yeah. It tells you to sit on your ass and eat potato chips and your Cadillac will manifest itself in the driveway. So I tell people, if you don't want to burn the book, if you want to keep it because you're cheap and you bought it. Mm-hmm. Open up to the last two pages, which are blank, yeah. and write two words. Work hard. Yeah. And by the way, I don't want any feedback on maternity leave. We give 12 weeks of paid maternity leave in our company, sure. period. Yeah. I'm glad you clarified that. Yeah, I, don't I was starting to feel And if bad you need paternity it. leave, we'll figure it yeah, out, exactly. too. We just yeah. have never had that pa- happen. Uh, we have yeah. never had a pat her. <laughs> what is the most uh, most common selling mistake that you see people happen see people making uh, either in your observations or your experiences or what you're seeing through the training process? Bad attitude, ill prepared. Bad attitude and ill prepared. Hmm. Like the thing that impacts you before you get to your sales meeting, yeah. or if you're on a call for like a high ticket thing, and 
your kid was just crying and homesick or whatever, Mm -hmm. you can't bring that into the next situation. They're going to feel it. Yeah. Yeah. At blame versus responsibility. Uh Uh-oh. Like, uh, well, the guy didn't return my call. Really? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Well, because I left a shitty voicemail message. (laughs) Yeah. And that's the whole deal. And so I'm, I'm a responsibility taker. Jen is a responsibility taker. But you look at any, look at the blamers in the world. Yeah. Look at politicians, just as an example. Do they take responsibility or do they blame? Yeah. Um, look at anybody in, in any circumstance of, uh, they're out in the world, they'll, they'll blame one country, they'll blame the other country. Eh, just take responsibility for it. We didn't do it right. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't do the job right and it was all my fault. It's a very, I've never heard a sales guy come to me and say, Jeffrey, I didn't make the sale and it was all my fault. Sure. The other thing I see is if I open it up, they'll come. If I open up this shop, people are going to see me. I was working yeah. with someone in New York City and she's like, Jen, I just got a uh, storefront shop. I'm like, cool. How are you going to get people there? Mm-hmm. She's like, no, people are going to walk by. It's a busy street. They're going to walk by. They're going to see my stuff and they're going to come in. Yeah. Right. It's a busy street and people are busy. Mm-hmm. They're going to walk right by it. You have to walk all the way to <laughs> Iowa. If you build it, they will come. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it just doesn't happen. And I see that too often. And so you have to create that attraction rather than wait for people to I just, just show up. I just an idea for a column. Yeah? Yeah. Sales of dreams. Ooh. Instead of field, field of, dreams. of dreams. Yeah. If you, if you become a salesperson, they will buy. <laughs> there you go. No, they won't buy. <laughs> yeah, and in fact, they will repel uh, if you do it the wrong way. Mm-hmm. So whenever you write that article, you can just reference this podcast. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll It'll have lock talk it. all over link, it. I'm going to write it with graphite. Yeah, and, <laughs> and green. Make sure yeah. you put green. green all over it. Got it. Creating a sales process. Is that something that you're advising people to do? How, like the structure, you said you were a process nerd. Like what is the, what is the, our process dork, I guess. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, I'm like, both. <laughs> I'm all, yes. Well, how do you, how are you helping people to kind of understand what that looks like? Most people that I come across, if they're not, if sales is not like the most natural thing to them, Mm -hmm. they need a process to follow. Yeah. They need a. But not a system. Mm -hmm. So define the difference. Systems of selling don't work because they're trying to make you do it their way. Yeah. When in fact, uh, Dale Carnegie in 1937 wrote two books, 37 and 39, uh, with the underlying theme, Be Yourself. Yeah. And if you have to think where you are and the sales. Uh, process cycle or system in, in the sales system you're you're going to lose yeah um but if you just if you know that i have to engage somebody mm-hmm. if you know that i have to create some kind of an emotional engagement if you know that that you're trying to pr- transfer value to them then you have a shot at mm-hmm. gaining and gaining some kind of engagement if you don't you don't yeah but if you're thinking this is open this is probe this is overcome objections. It's bullshit. So, and, and no one's going to buy it anymore. Sure. Yeah. Hey, thanks for listening to the Coffee Break Podcast. If this information has been helpful to you or you just really kind of like our theme song, can you help us out by rating us on whatever app you're using? And if you get really fancy, how about sharing a screenshot on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or LinkedIn? Okay, enough of all this. Let's get back to the conversation. Well, so, so I follow that. Maybe, maybe more so, and I, maybe I'm using the wrong term, but maybe. The, 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 the process or the cycle of uh, follow-up and just the consistent, like... Yeah. Let's just take I, that one thing. Okay. It's not follow-up. It's follow-through. Okay. And it, the old way doesn't work anymore. Yeah. It's over. You don't close the sale anymore. It's just not happening. Mm-hmm. Would you like this in green? Uh, can I deliver it Monday? I, yeah. I, please. Okay, please. so... You, you asked just before this, what are the biggest mistakes people make? Mm-hmm. And one of the biggest ones is they don't follow up enough. Yeah. If you believe in your heart that they need your product or service, mm-hmm. it's your duty. It's your calling. It's, it's your job to keep following up or through, yeah. however but you want to say it. don't be stupid about it. Yeah. Right. You send somebody a proposal, do your sales guy go, um... Uh, hi, we sent your proposal uh, a couple of days ago, and I was wondering if you had any questions. I'm no. just following up. Yeah, no! they don't. They don't have any. They, you don't care if they have questions. You just want the money. Yeah, but call them up and go. Is the money ready? I'm coming over Tuesday. <laughs> what, but, what time will the check be ready? Right, exactly. Yeah. There was a moment where 
if I'm the buyer, I wanted to buy, mm-hmm. right? Let's say it's, I want security cameras in my house. Yeah. Okay. There was a moment where I felt like we need, I didn't just like call out of the blue for security cameras. No, yeah. like something prompted that. Sure. Bring me back to that moment of what is it going to do for you yeah. mm-hmm. if you, when you have these cameras and if you already know you're the best people to install them and do the delivery and the, all that, then it's like a no brainer in a sense that you need to persist and, and keep contacting until we get there. But you train your people about all the things that LockDoc does. We have cameras, we got equipment, we got simple, we got complicated, <laughs> and we have the online. No, no. If I'm going to go into someone's home, I'm going to say, show me the three most vulnerable places in this house. Okay. I'm going to say. Hashtag not creepy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you got to know. And, <laughs> or you can say, tell me about the last time you were afraid in your home. Okay. Tell me about the last time you read something that sparked your thought process to say, I may not be secure enough here. Yeah. Tell me about that. That's an emotional connection. Yeah. Or you can tell me about your cameras and I can go to Amazon.com and shop you and I'll bet any amount of money, you I get cheaper. cheaper yeah. yeah, because it's a, you're, we're just talking features and functions. Right. Uh, you, it's you all want, bullshit. Yeah. Uh, you, well, let me tell you a little bit about LockDoc. Dude, Locksmith, return. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. So I, I just like will challenge everyone listening to look at all the proposals you sent out in the past 60 days. Yeah. Okay. And I'll just take the ones that didn't buy. <laughs> and think about, have you really done your job? in following up and do you owe it to them to try again? Do you owe it to them to give them a call and say, look, like we, we talked about this and I just really feel it can help you. So I didn't want to let this go. Yeah. Hmm. That's emotion. Very fair. Yeah. Emotion. Yeah. Not logic. There's nothing logical about wanting safety in your home. Not one thing. It's logical to me. Hmm. No, it's not. It's you have a kid. You want to protect your kid. You, oh, yeah. You have shit in your house. I need to protect our dogs. Our artwork, our, you know, whatever. <laughs> you, you, but you want the protection yes. because you want to feel safe. Yep. I want security. Yeah. I yeah. want safety, peace of mind. We're 5,000 miles away. Yeah. I want to be able to hone in on our stuff. Pull it up on your, your I phone I want to know that our keys on, are yeah. non-duplicatable. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you should sell any other kind of key. I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. They cost a you little bit more money. You can have these cheap but... keys that anyone can duplicate, or you can have the real keys that keep you safe. That's solid. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's the truth, and it's it's understanding how to communicate that um, on, I guess, on an emotional level, but communicate it so that people understand what that actually means and why right. it's important. Right. Yeah. yeah. Correct. So, so you, you own a house? Yeah. Yeah. And do you, did you buy it yourself? Did you? How did it get sold to you? Oh, uh, I mean, I'm I'm in a condo, but yes, with, with a realtor that. or yeah, with a realtor. Okay, yeah, and they walk in and they go, "This is the walk-in closet. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the ceiling. Uh, these are the toilets. Mm-hmm. It's twenty five hundred square feet." Yeah, <laughs> seriously, no. <laughs> like, think about think about they're trying to make a two hundred thousand dollars, five hundred thousand dollar, million dollar sale, and they're going to tell you this is a walk-in closet. Yeah. And it's and it's the bedroom is sixteen by nineteen. Mm-hmm. Really, let's take a measure out. Let's yeah. get our let's get our let's. You bring a tape with you? Yeah. Well, no. I see just, if my bed fits in here. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. all you want to know. Yeah. Just say where will you put the TV? Sure. I want to know where my shoes are going to go. I want to know where I go downstairs to get my coffee in the morning. Will all your I clothing know... fit in this closet? Probably because not. If you're a woman no. and it doesn't. You're out. Yeah. Right. Having a pl- but, good place for your shoes is important. Yes, I, mean, that's, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but. Even, you want to take it deeper? Sure. Tell me about the bedroom you grew up in. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, and, you know, if you have siblings, you had fights, you had all kinds of stuff. Your mm-hmm. parents, if they're alive or passed on, all kinds of things happen with that one question. Yeah. That will bring you, and rush you back. Boom. Yeah. In two seconds. And now I've made an emotional connection with you, and maybe there's something that even creates link. Same town. Yeah. Same kind of bedroom. It's, Oldest sibling, youngest sibling. Well, it was interesting. We were having a conversation earlier today talking about emotional connection with a brand or, or a, yeah. a, a logo, right? And so it's easy. I was, I was sharing an example of a negative emotion associated with a logo. 
um, and how we want to be mindful of that within our organization of how we're communicating to our customers and that that kind of emotional connection that you have. You want it to always be positive, but it's very true because you there's there's been some experience through your life, and you could just mention that that restaurant, that whatever, mm-hmm. and of you're going to immediately go that was good or bad. Um, and you're going to tell people about it mm-hmm. based off of that interaction. I'm going to give you an idea okay. that I would normally charge you $10,000, but All right. because I like you, I'll do it today for five. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the check Get ready. this on camera. The check is in the mail. <laughs> I want you to have all around the whole lock dock facility, okay. baseball players sliding into home plate. Okay. And your theme is safe at home. Mm. Okay. And that way, and you can, it's a whole collection now that you can have big pictures, small pictures, because you have stuff on the walls already, but I don't get the safety part, which I think is the most important part of your entire product. We bought from you, not because you have cool locks. Sure. We bought for safety. Yeah. Well, and because Andy said you're the best. Oh, yeah. yeah. And referral. So <laughs> testimonial, referral, safety. Those yeah. were our issues, not, well, our, you know, you can't duplicate the... Uh, it's mechanical part. Yeah. But if you have Jackie Robinson stealing home and safe at the plate and you have the umpire safe, <laughs> I think it's a great metaphor. Yeah. And I think that it's what people want. They want to be safe at home. Yes. And so I'm all about showing, okay. not just telling. Mm-hmm. And I think that definitely tells the story. Totally. And to add to that, another thing you could do is rather than just try to tell me that anyone could go duplicate my keys. Mm-hmm. Um, just show me how easy it is to do. Like, Hey, can I, uh, can I show you something in my truck? Yeah. Like, or mm. can I bring this, this demonstration here? Mm. Okay. Yep. And you show me how easy it is to take the current key I have and duplicate it in what under five minutes. Yeah. Now, or, a vi- right? or a video going over to Ace Hardware yeah. Yeah. and say, can you make me a copy of this? Sure. Yeah. And you give me any key and then you give them one of your keys yeah. Can you make me copy this? Oh, we can't. We can't do that. So I'll, I'll take. I'll take one uh, to another level for you. As we and we do have this video on our YouTube webpage. You can search L O C D O C I and C. But anyways, the uh, <laughs> it's uh, you can actually. There's an app you can download on your phone. Take a picture of your key, and have it shipped to you, or to whoever. Without so all you have to do is lay your key on the table. I can take a picture of it and have a key shipped to me. Yeah. Unless it's the type that you have the the protected key system. Yeah. Can you copy this key? That's a question we get asked about 3,422 times a year. And how can you actually be sure that the person who asked that question is supposed to get a copy of that key? Well, we think you should always know who can copy your keys to your business and your home because it could be your neighbor, an old employee, a contractor, or even worse, your mother-in-law. At LockDock Security, we believe in protected key systems, so you always know who has a copy of your key. To find out more, visit LockDoc.net or stop by our Charlotte location. LockDoc Security, helping you protect your people and your property. So if it's if it's what you had before, I can have that. You could be in a coffee shop, get up and go to the restroom. I could snap a picture of your key. And done. Okay. And that Ooh, is scary. Cool. Yeah. And I can feel it. But if you actually showed that mm-hmm. to me versus told it to me. Yeah. It's so different. Like, here, look, there's this app that people know about. Yeah. Watch what we can do. And you actually take a picture. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, the buyer can see that in so different in a different way. And if you're listening and Very you're simple. like, I don't sell locks. Like, what does this have to do with me? Well, it's so simple. How can you show things in your business rather than just tell what it does or how it does it? Or you use a similar metaphor. Ever had your credit card number stolen? Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. How easy was that to do? Someone just, you, you got a call from the credit card company. Are you charging $500 to Disney World tickets? To Chuck E. Cheese. No. Yeah, to Chuck E. Cheese. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. See, that's about it round around full yeah. circle. That's great. <laughs> but think about that. It's mm-hmm. no different with your locks. You just yeah. don't think of it that way. Yep. Yeah. Just as easy as you can snap a picture of your credit card, you can snap a picture of your key. Yeah, Correct. That's crazy. That's Very pretty good. interesting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, this has been a valuable we, conversation. You know, yeah, you anytime. To, we yeah. should start charging. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should go to 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've already got it recorded, so it's great. Oh. Uh, right. 
right. Very, very much appreciate you guys. I want to be respectful of your time because I know that. Please do. You've, because you've got a lot of stuff going on. We got way. This way. was a lot of fun. And you have to come on our show, too. Yeah. Please. Bigger fish to fry. Oh, no. No. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. We, we, <laughs> we totally loved it here. Actually, we respect your business. Awesome. That's why we showed up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. we appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. No that's very kind. I, yeah. I know we've been doing business with you guys for a long time, so it's it's been uh, it's been really cool to have this experience um, and and to learn. Like it's been very valuable. I can tell you that. And anybody that's listening is going to catch some valuable tips out have of some it. Fun. Yeah. yeah. So real quick, if they want to get a hold of you guys, I know you got books and things going on. So quick. I am on Instagram at Jen Gittimer, and that is the very best way to reach me because I answer every DM. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, you don't answer I answer mine. them personally. I DM you all the well, time. Well, I talk to you about them. <laughs> I respond I never in get person. An answer. I send you he DM. sends me like I never memes get an and stuff. <laughs> That's the best. Get a text message. Just walk all into right, the room. Uh, like next it. time I respond on Thank Instagram because yeah. I'm a meme sender. Yeah, he's he's just scrolling through his his direct he, he messages. He's like me. he's like she never responds. Ever. Ah. Not like once or like never. <laughs> That's hard. That's I rough. respond in person. But you also have a book, right? I do. I do. It's called Sales in a New York Minute. And where we have it's one today for you. Pro- oh, yeah, yeah we do. Yeah. It's Half price. <laughs> I'm going to keep asking for something. Do you have any checks over there? <laughs> we do. <laughs> we do. One for you. There you go. Sales in a New York Minute. Yeah, oh, it's well, 212 we're... pages of real, wor- real world strategies. We're giving away today. <laughs> over here this way yeah, there, there you, go. you go we're giving this away to a couple of people that are here we're giving this away a little gold book of yes attitude which goes right in front of the coffee why don't we do a giveaway for your listeners sure. yeah that'd be awesome if anybody um, we're giving away this uh r-rated book uh-oh called get shit done <laughs> But it has the asterisks in there. Okay. Yeah, That's, there's no so I. Yeah. It. yeah, don't Completely worry. Completely don't understand what it says. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Uh, you want to buy a vowel? <laughs> That's a pretty known well, <laughs> statement. You want to buy a vowel? Yeah. And, and we want to make sure in Jen's book of Sales in the New York Minute, because we're gift givers. We don't show up at somebody's place of business and not bring anything. Well, Hey, this one you already you already autographed that one. For yeah, me. but I'm gonna yeah, personalize well, he's gonna it. Write oh, your okay. name yeah, in well, it. well, well why worry. don't we do this? The person who shares this and um, rates your rates gives you a five star rating on no, iTunes. How with them? Us a five star rating as guests. We don't. <laughs> okay, want our app. Epi- make sure you mention our episode right, specifically. Right. But where should they send you a screenshot of it? Uh, to let's do Instagram. Okay. Lock, doc, L-O-C, D-O-C, so I-N-C. tag you yep. in it yep. in your story or a post or whatever, and, we'll and we book. will send you a book. Yeah. Do you own the alternative URLs? Uh, we have several URLs. Yes. <laughs> Good. So you have L-O-C-K, D-O-C. <laughs> um, I I have to check and see. I don't know if we have that one. I would if I were you. Yeah. Seems like the obvious. We're gonna have to sell, help them sell a lot of locks. We have a lot of work to do here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Got goodness. All kinds of all kinds of help. Yeah. Now this has been awesome. Thank you so yep. much. Thank you very much. Thank you for bringing the gifts. And obviously, we've got coffee cups for you guys as well because I mean we Aww. we br- we give gifts as well when people come to visit. These coffee cups are pretty cool, by the way. They have. Uh, I guess these aren't ours because they're the expensive ones. We get this. No, we've got we've we got, got the more for you out ones. there. No, these okay. you'll we'll definitely get you one of these with the cork bottoms. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we want that. Cork bottom wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. It's cool. Cork bottom girl. Isn't there a, a what? song? No, uh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your time today. We really appreciate it, and uh, we have to have you back at some point sure. in time. Sure, and We're down. Uh, and then I'll see you at the concert. Yes, acapella. Yeah. So a huge thank you to Jeffrey and Jen Gittimer for joining us. Uh, they are very, very considerate with their time and came in and spent uh, uh, well over an hour with us and just having some great conversation uh, and taking some time to share some of their thoughts and experience with us. So it's, it's always great, valuable insights whenever you have the opportunity to sit down with somebody like that. So thank you very much uh, to those two. And as they mentioned, they're giving away some books. Uh, so make sure that you uh, share this on your social media. If you're on Facebook, make sure you share the video and tag us, L-O-C-D-O-C-I-N-C, tag LockDoc Security. And then also on Instagram, if you do the same thing, tag us and we will enter you in for a drawing. They're going to be giving away some books and we want to get those in your hands. So make sure you check that out. You can also tag Jeffrey Gittimer and Jen Gittimer as well. And they'll see that and we'll make sure you get in the drawing for the books that they're going to be giving away. We really appreciate their time and their uh, their energy and their their knowledge 
There are simple ways that we can all do better at communicating and uh, sharing the human side of our businesses with our customer base. So uh, we look forward to having more conversations with them in the future and being able to implement some of these practices in our business and see you able to implement them in your business as well. Again, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. It's lockdoc.net slash podcast. The links to all of the platforms that we're available on are right there. And this is also video, uh, also available in video form. It's on Facebook and YouTube. You can check that out. Just search L-O-C, D-O-C, and all the videos will come up. Uh, you can see the video there. We appreciate you tuning in and checking this out. We look forward to seeing you next time on the Coffee Break Podcast. <laughs>